Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to tell you about a really cool asset pack called Easy Fog by a guy named William Fouché. Now, if you're a part of the Unreal community, you probably know who he is. He's a pretty big YouTuber, does a lot of cool tutorials and techniques for cinematics and so forth. Uh, great guy, and he just recently launched his own asset pack called Easy Fog on the Marketplace. Today, I'm going to show you what it is, how it works a little bit, and how you can take it to the next level with a really cool add-on that you can pick up. So let's get started. So first things first, it is called Easy Fog and it is available on ArtStation, Gumroad, and now is available on the Unreal Marketplace, which is awesome. I actually personally bought it right away when it was available on ArtStation. Um, and I, when it, as soon as it became available on Unreal Marketplace, I bought it again because I just love the simplicity of being able to click one button and get it right into your project that easy. You don't have to worry about migrating and all that fun stuff. So here it is, it's called Easy Fog. So if you search that in the Unreal Marketplace, you can find it pretty easy. Um, he's got some pretty awesome uh, screenshots and stuff of basically how he utilizes it in his scenes. And, um, you know, he's got a, a video here and some information. It's basically a blueprint system um, and using fog cards. So don't get me wrong, fog cards is nothing new. They've been around for a long time. People have used it. But um, this is a really cool way that he has implemented it into a single blueprint that you can easily drag and drop. Uh, it's a pretty cool um, little asset pack and add-on that can definitely add a lot of flair and style to your next scene or cinematic. So here we are in a new project here and I've added the Easy Fog asset pack to it through the Epic Launcher. And you can see here within the Easy Fog folder, we have a blueprint, levels, materials, meshes, and textures. This is a simple little sample uh, um, level here. This basically shows the 10 different textures that come with the pack and shows you how to use the different blueprints. So within the blueprint settings here, you can see under the detail panel, you can scroll down. There's tons of cool options here for adjusting how it looks and feels, how much light it emits, how much depth it has to it, the transparency and so forth, color toning. It's really customizable and that's one of the best features about this particular asset pack because like I said, fog cards have been around for a long time. It's pretty easy to create a material and uh, basically just toss in some sort of cloud and set it to opacity mask and slap it on a plane and you're set. Um, there is definitely techniques such as uh, using the depth fade node so that it blends in, things of that sort, much better. However, um, he's gone the extra mile to create a full blueprint with some even additional options here so that you can easily just drag and drop the blueprint, customize it right there. You don't have to worry about a ton of different materials and a ton of different things. Um, it's really simple and easy to use. I like it a lot. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth on how to actually use this. I will refer to his tutorial and launch video down in the description there, so make sure you check that out. Also, check out his whole YouTube channel. He's an amazing guy, has a lot of cool content. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can take this asset pack, add it to your scene, and take it to the next level with some added bonus options here. So let's get into that. The asset pack actually does that come with another sample level here. Um, it's got a couple of landscape meshes here, and he kind of shows you how you can easily add his um, asset pack into the scene just to create so much more depth and style, some atmosphere to it, literally just by dragging and dropping in a few of these blueprints. Uh, you can see how it really changes up the whole scene. So here we are in a level that I created to help showcase the Easy Fog asset pack and how I utilized it to create a much better scene here, a much better atmosphere, and how I used it in a few different ways besides just fog. And I'm also going to show you an asset pack that you can get off of ArtStation. It's really inexpensive and it will help increase the value of the Easy Fog asset pack by tenfold. So let's take a quick little look here. This is my scene. Uh, pretty simple, just several mega scans, mountains tossed around, and some landscape stuff. I've got some other marketplace assets here. And uh, you can see it's nothing too fancy. Let's hop on over into our camera view here. 
and I knew I was going to be building the scene out for path tracing, not Lumen. Um, another good thing to note is um, when he first launched the actual asset pack, it did not support path tracing. However, myself and a few others, we mentioned it in his comments and reached out to him. And within just a couple of days, he updated it and added path tracing support, which is awesome. It's a simple little toggle box on the blueprint and it works great. So what I'm going to do here is you can see in the scene we are running off of Lumen and for the most part looks like a fairly decent scene, nothing super fancy about it. However, let's switch on over to path tracing just so we can take effect of the actual exponential height fog. And you can see here um, this is already looking quite a bit more realistic, much more realistic light bounces and stuff. Of course, not real time, but I'm using this for cinematic purposes and creating artwork. So path tracing tends to be the way for me. And you can see just by adding um, that exponential height fog in here, we can get some nice volumetric light rays and volumetric light scatter. It looks really good, but still there's just not enough atmosphere to what's going on. So I'm going to slowly start to turn on a few toggles here and kind of show you how I used the Easy Fog Asset Pack to take this to the next level. So the first thing first I did was start to add some uh, what I like to call fog cards here. So these here you're going to see are kind of these dusty, foggy looking elements here in between the mountains. And the exponential height fog is great because it is volumetric and you can use it that way, but there's no texture to it. There's no, um, you don't see any actual like design to it. It's just static. So what's really cool about adding fog cards in with the exponential height fog is it can really add texture and style. You can see the cloud pieces. You can see the wisps and stuff in there. It's a really cool effect. So this worked pretty well in just helping to separate the mountains and I color toned it in a way to kind of match the sand so that it feel, felt a little more like sand blowing off the mountains and dust in between the actual mountains and kind of a fog but kind of a dust at the same time. So the next way I decided to use the asset pack was clouds. I mean literally the assets look like clouds so why not use them in a cloud-based form not just for fog or separation. So by adding a cloud section here you can see nice beautiful white clouds. The exponential height fog and path tracing works pretty well but when you use it with path tracing it actually gets rid of the normal volumetric clouds that you have in Unreal Engine and really I'm not a huge fan of those clouds anyways. They are cool and they can work pretty well for a game engine and they, and they look okay, but there's really no way of customizing it. You can, but it, it takes a lot more work. This is literally just drag and dropping in some fog cards and putting a cloud on it, color matching it, making it look decent, moving them around. This way it gives you a much more artistic style and artistic direction to where you want the clouds to be. So I think it worked pretty well. I also used a couple of the clouds in the foreground to help occlude the tops a little bit of these obelisks that are coming up. That way it also kind of gave some size and scale atmosphere to it. Feels like those buildings are actually high enough that they're kind of going up into the clouds a little bit. And the third way I ended up using the asset pack was the dust. So at first glance, you're probably not going to really see any difference here. However, um, there's all these vehicles and stuff down here at the bottom, this military arrangement. And if you notice right about here and right here and right here, what I did is used some of the simple elements that were included and I added a pretty heavy kind of sandy color to it and some density. I wanted to create some actual dust and dirt type of atmosphere um, pieces down there at the ground so that you could see you know there's vehicles moving around people moving around causing and kicking up dust and so let me just uh, turn that off here again you can kind of see a little bit without it and with it and of course it's gonna be a little difficult to tell with um, path tracing enabled so let me switch the lumen here just so you can kind of see so right here right here and over here and here and so let me switch those on and off again and you can see 
just by adding that little dust element down in there. And it's literally the same piece, just kind of moved and rotated just a little bit. And it adds a, a real thick piece of dust down there at the bottom. So you can kind of see here in Lumen how all those pieces are working together. You got, you know, beautiful big separation fog dust pieces here. You got the nice big cloud pieces. You have some occlusion cloud pieces up top. And then you have these little small kind of thick dusty pieces down at the bottom works really really well for this scene but let me jump back out of the camera here and just kind of show you again um, full view of how you can see all the different kind of fog planes going on make sure you have uh, allowed translucent selection turned on and you can see i have a number of fog planes basically all over the place here just to create a lot of atmosphere and a lot of depth to your scene so not only between the fog the clouds and the dust it worked great so the easy fog asset pack is awesome um, the only limitation is the amount of textures really so let's take that to the next level let's add some more textures so pretty quickly after i downloaded the easy fog asset pack i realized i need more options so i headed on over to artstation it's a great place to be able to pick up some assets for relatively inexpensive most of the time so i searched this here this is literally 130 fairly decent high res cloud textures and brushes. It's literally $3 on the, on the marketplace here on ArtStation. And you can take these assets and just toss them in to your Easy Fog asset pack and now utilize all these different styles and effects here. It is a really cool option. Um, I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. I just thought it was wonderful that it was an easy way to get this. A quick note, when you do download it, make sure you download it in grayscale with the black background. You don't wanna do the transparent PNGs because that does not work very well with the blueprint. Um, but however, once you download that, you have 130 more options of clouds and dusts and fogs. It is super, super cool. So I think that's gonna do it. You know, um, the asset pack is really cool. I really like it. Fog cards have been around for quite some time, but this is just a super simple and easy way of implementing it without making a ton of materials and assets. It's really, really cool. I'll leave the links down in the description for his Gumroad Art Station and Unreal Marketplace so you can pick it up. I want to say it's on sale about half off. Uh, otherwise, it'll probably be around 10 bucks or so. It's well worth it. Trust me. Like I said, I ended up buying it twice um, just so I could have it in the Epic Launcher. It's so much easier that way. I'll also leave a link down in the description for the uh, Cloud Asset Pack on ArtStation, not affiliated with any of these guys, but they are super cool and it's a great way to add a ton more options to the Easy Fog Asset Pack. Make sure you check out William Fouché's YouTube channel. He's a really great guy, does a ton of cool content. Um, you know, head on over, support him through the Asset Pack, check out some of his stuff. He's got a really great tutorial and overview of the Asset Pack on his site. So I hope you guys liked the video, a quick little overview of his awesome Asset Pack and how you can take it to the next level and how you can utilize it in your particular scene or cinematic. And uh, until the next video, peace out.